Hello, today I'm going to make a review of the Matrix Tokyo Marui M9 clone. This is the box. Has instructions on the back, pretty cool. Doesn't come with a um, instructions thing or anything. You got the gun. And the magazine. The magazine holds 24 rounds and is powered off of green gas. Magazines are about $30, which is cheap for gas blowback magazines. The gun is made out of full metal. Depending on which um, version you get it in, there is silver full metal, silver polymer, black full metal, black polymer, and that is it. And I think there's coyote tin or desert tan. The safety is located on both sides, one on the left and one on the right. You can pull back slide by just pulling it back like that. This gun I have not found a hop up on. I think there is one. And it shoots about 325 FPS with the highest being 370. Um, it is a double action and single action pistol. Double action meaning you can just shoot and it'll keep going. And, um, single action meaning you have to first pull the slide back and then you can shoot. Now, um, that is kind of it about the pistol. Um, do I, and the price. The price, to be honest, $119. That's not that much for a gas blow by pistol. That's cheaper than the Bobby on that I used to have that I broke because I didn't know what I was doing when I was taking it apart. Um, mag release right here. Um, you take a part button, you push this, and then you take this it out, you know, if you've ever had a real M9, but this is what this channel is about, it's about Airsoft and my dog, um, if you got this pistol, I recommend it to any beginners out there, because if you're trying to make a loadout under $250, this could fit in, um, not with the SEMA um, M16, which right now I'll show you it. It's a DMR right now. Got my little scope right there, American flag. I found this at, like, Hobby Lobby. And then I got a MOSFET. Um, that was $26. It's programmable by trigger pulls, apparently. But I'm not using it right now because... It gets rid of my battery fast. Um, but if you want to make a $250 loadout, you could get this pistol for $119. And then you could get the um, Matrix G3 uh, Micro Switch M4A1 for about $230-ish. And then you could spend $20 on, $10 on BBs and $10 on eye protection, which I think is a pretty good deal. Now, um, this pistol is a good pistol. I've test fired it. I can get about two and a half magazines on a, you know, 65 degree day. Um, the green gas goes into the magazine. It's not like, um, it takes little stick magazines, no, it's just a big, giant, standard M9 magazine. Um, it is compatible with Tokyo Marui parts. As you can see, it's the same thing, but the Matrix one is full metal, so it's kind of better than, uh, all the other Tokyo Marui things. Uh... That's kind of it. Subscribe to Smoky Airsoft if you like this review. It's kind of scuffed, I know. Um, that was kind of showing off. Uh...
But this is a good pistol too. You can also change out the hand, the grips. You can just change them out. Like, um, biohazard grips from Resident Evil that would look, that are pretty snazzy. They're imitation wood. Um, but other than that, that's it. Subscribe to Smoky Airsoft if you like this video. Leave a like if, and comment. Well, you can't comment because I turned my comments off. Anyway, but subscribe if you like this video and like if you want to um, have this gun or if you like this airsoft piece. It's a cool replica and a training pistol if you, any cops see this. Um, I recommend using it as a training pistol for how realistic it is. It has a hard kick. It goes about that far up into the air one-handed. Anyway, bye.